Hey guys, what's going on? Check out this epic background as well as all of these fish. We are in California. It's my first time ever coming over to the West Coast and we got on an epic bite with fin fetish charters. So many new species, some giant yellowtails. This is Brookie's giant yellowtail, by the way. And we did an overnight trip here and absolutely epic day. So many different species. So you guys are gonna see us catch all of these fish and then we're gonna clean them up and then actually bring them back home to Pompano Beach to cook them up. So I hope you guys enjoy. On the lead head. The it's a halibut, huh? All right, hit me in the column. Yeah. Steve Vance? Yeah. Not a bad way to wake up, huh? Woo! Yeah, bro. Oh, that's right fucking like yellow. Dump oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Yeah, you got a good fish, bro. Oh, yeah. Nice head what? shakes. Oh, yeah. Is that's, that where it should that's be? That's a sea bass. That's yep. a sea bass. That's a sea bass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, We're bit. Finn Fetish gets bit. Watch out. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a sea bass shaking his head like that. Day two on the Finn Fetish. And hooked up, literally ran out of bed. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, leadhead. boys. Good morning. Leadhead bite. We got a white sea bass. Beautiful thing. Nice work, got him turned. Beautiful. Wine, 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 wine. Still there, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. still there. Yeah. Keep whining, just keep that running out of tight. You turn his head, he's coming right at us. Head shaker. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful thing when somebody knows how to fish, too. You yeah. Know? Yeah, it's just like, oh, it's just, it's, it just happens naturally. It's great. I'm tired out right now. Alright, charging the boat now, Brooke. They do nice long runs. A lot of head shakes. Turn, charge the boat. Oh, oh yeah, that's a sea bass. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> yeah, baby. Alright, so this fish is taking us to the bow now, to the very front. And there's also Rizzo dolphins. All around the boat. You hear them right behind me? Can you even see them? You can see them. Bunch of seals. Yeah, they're right dolphins. There. Wind it, wind it. All right, we're, we're, on. Back we're on. We're on, we're tight. Nice. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying white sea bass. Dude, he got yeah. so smoked right now. I'm getting this. Smoked it, Dill? Yeah, dude. Ooh, Ooh that's a nice, dude, that's a nice big, yellow big there. Right off the bottom. Hold on, let's keep an eye on these. Dude, that thing's too. ripping. Ready? Yellowtail, probably. That's yellowtail for oh, sure. Uh huh. You're just gonna stay right here. All right. The boat is coming alive. Um, make sure he's down with two more rods on the bow. We want to get a triple going. They're coming through. They're coming through. They're coming. They're under now. This way. This way. Always keep it straight. Don't put the side angle. On. There we go. Right there. So we're pretty sure Bricky has a sea bass and just the way that Dylan's fish is fighting, it's really peeling line. It's probably a yellowtail, which we caught one of yesterday. Dude, this thing's getting dumping them. Is it? What? Dude, look at that. Oh, dude, dude we're, we're getting dumped there, bro. We're almost there. Oh, I think sea lion has it. No, that's okay. Wow. Hands up. Oh my god, we're getting spooled. I'm okay, oh. don't worry about me. Oh. You 
ready? Hey, bro. Yeah. That was a black one. Yeah. Yeah. Matt had to have been a black seed. It spooled us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still, I, I ain't cool. never seen a yellowtail do that. I think it was something different at first, and might have got hit by a hit by a sea lion or, or something. Yeah. You didn't lose your. I think it was. Right? I think it was a big yellowtail, and it got hit by a sea lion. Oh, Listen I up. feel this line. I think yeah, I'm with you. This goes slack on your. I'm black. Yeah. It doesn't look like a black so far. Musical rods. I'm ready for real, is it going to go in my tip? Oh, it's a giant yellow tail. It's going to go in my yellow. tip. His line's going to go they in just, my tip you know, in my reel. Oh. Tell me what to do, Brian. You can you just cut me. Yeah, just yeah. cut me. Here. Go. Get this. Clippers. Right here. Here. That's not going to cut. Here. Here, here. Yeah, it cuts. Pull it out, pull it out. Go, you're clear. All right, Brooke, giant yellowtail. Oh, giant yellow. Oh, Brooke, big, big yellow. Big, big yellow. Get that, get that color. Brooke's got Brooke's herself good. I'm a monster. Oh, yellow dude, that's tail. like a four-year-old <laughs> yellow. Dude, it did not fight like a yellow. Come here, come here. Right oh, in the corner. Listen, when it comes up to the surface. Yeah. Can you guys feel the, uh, the anticipation right here? here? Right. So just keep your rods in the water. Don't go any higher than that. And leave it right in the water. Right in the water. And your like circles, and once it comes out, might be the biggest Mr. Rod tip. Yeah. That I've seen or heard of. Well, it looks over 40 pounds. Oh, it's a yeah. big oh one. baby, he's not done. It's a big one. You got the, you got a really good one there. 50 Woo! pounds, right? <laughs> really, really good one. Enjoy That's it, probably bro. what I hooked then, dude. Yeah, you had a big yellow, I think. With the drags are all set for sea bass, that's why. Get this one out of here. Pull really all these rods up to the bow. Okay, he's clear there. He's clear. He's clear. Look at that color. Here we go, baby. Here we go. You can do it exactly what you're doing. Nice and smooth. Oh, he just took one. Just exactly what you're doing. Oh, yeah, baby. Exactly what you're doing. One more turn. One more turn. Wait, wait. Yeah, that's okay. You got him. One more turn. When I gap and put it, your thumb on the reel. Big the yellow. Corner. A little bit higher, a little bit higher. One more turn. Oh, oh yeah! Woo! 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 Yes! Oh! Oh my gosh! Been fetish, baby! Heck yeah, look at that thing. Yeah, Woo! bro. Oh yeah. Look at that hook. Beautiful. Oh. Where is he hooked? Oh. Ari Stinger, it's called. Thank wow, you for blessing us with your life. What a beauty. Wow. Heck yeah. On the so one we just awesome. bought. We just got that yesterday. The uh, the new bucktail. And they've been working. Nobody's fishing them. Nice work. Excellent fight right there. What a beauty. So this is what you call a home guard yeah. yellowtail? Listen, you caught 50 pounds. Oh my god, this thing's heavy. Pounds. It's 50 pounds. 50 pounds? You, you 50, 50 pounds. Super, super, super gnarly. Woohoo! Super stoked. Talk up. about a wake up call, baby. Woo! So epic. Couldn't ask for anything better. Look at the background. Like, absolutely insane. Look at the size of that yellow. Out Unreal. here with fin fetish charters. Make sure you guys check them out. This could be you too. <laughs> wow, that's a pig. That's the biggest one of the season. Yeah? Biggest one of the season. He got a bunch on his. He got like 12 on his, but they were all like 35 to 40. So dude, that's like a 50 pounder. Look at the size of the head. It's way bigger than your head. How does it compare to any other fish you've ever caught in that size? I mean, I've caught AJ's probably that big. This fight's way harder than an amberjack. For sure. That's what a lot of people compare them to is our amberjacks. That fight's way better pound per pound than an amberjack and it supposedly tastes a lot better than an amberjack too so i'm very excited to eat it that's my favorite fish out here and that's an absolute giant too Luck, lucky catch and did a great job winding them in Dude. we're pretty sure you lost a, a big one too right yeah yeah i hooked one that seemed to be a very similar fish uh on light line and it got completely spooled completely spooled so there was like nothing we could have done we thumbed it on the last 20 feet of string left and just happens. So we're beefing up. We got 50 pound now. We took off anything small and we're going for the big stuff. Yep, yep. Hopefully we get another shot. 
So last night we had all the underwater lights in the water and we were catching a bunch of squid and we kept the squid alive in that back live well and that's what we're using for bait this morning. All the squid all alive in there swimming around. And those are the exact same squid that you guys eat out at restaurants. Well, we were about to move spots to literally the opposite side of this island behind us. And we had one last rod out and Dylan was reeling it in and hooked up to this fish. We're about to see what it is. He just saw color. That's what we do. Oh. <laughs> Look at him, sick. Different one. Wow. Is that your big, that's your first black. That's my first black sea bass. That's still exciting. Cool. Yeah. That's Hell amazing. yeah. I'll take one of those. They Pretty change colors huh? like crazy. Look at them change colors. Look at that. We're ready for success. <laughs> Someone get a weight on that thing. <laughs> your PB starfish. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, we don't have those back home. Not like that. Yeah, we'll see what this one is. We're getting a lot of mixed species right here. Almost 90 feet of water with the squid. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a sheep, that's why. <gasps> no! Keeper sheep. Yeah. Try this. Look at that thing. There we oh, go. Look at Brooke. Brooke's no, Brooke. Brooke. Brooke's oh, there. Got something. Little. Oh my oh, gosh, seal try to eat seal. your fish. Oh, oh chucklehead rockfish, new species. Shallow water rockfish. What do you call it? Chuckle? It's a copper rockfish, but their slang is chucklehead. Chucklehead. Another species oh, of rockfish. Oh, oh, On the live squid. You haven't caught that rockfish yet this trip, have you? No. You almost got smoked by a sea lion. I know, the sea lion literally chased this fish up. He's, he's pretty, he's got that white spot on his head, see? It's like snow. Very right? cool. Females are like pink. Females are all pink. Yeah. And males have the black stripes. Yep. Yeah, I've right. seen lots of pictures, and that's just epic to actually see one in person. Look at those teeth. They're yeah, they get uh, up to what 30 pounds. Yeah. They love to eat lobster, crustaceans, sea urchin. The grass rockfish, another shallow water rockfish species, different than anything we caught yesterday. Like 90 feet of water. Nice little California sheephead. It's actually a, a member of the Ras family. You can tell it's a female because of the completely pink body compared to Adam's one with black stripes. So all those squid that we caught last night, we're literally eating it raw right now with a little bit of soy sauce and lime juice. But we're just cleaning out the ink and they have like a weird cartilage piece in them and taking out the beak. And then I guess it's technically like skin of the squid and it's absolutely delicious. That's good, that's delicious. I really like the tentacles. Yeah, that's, that's why right, that's really hard to eat them. Plus they're so easy to clean, it's like quick. Chop, Am I gonna chop, regret pop. eating a piece this large since it's so chewy? <laughs> Did you try a tentacle yet, Brooke? No, but I've tried the strip. Try the tentacle, it's way better. Uh, uh, Bucktail. Hopefully for a halibut or a sea bass come through here. <laughs> okay, you can bucktail it too. They can bucktail it too, for sure. Bucktail is you know what it reminds me of? I'm getting the you know those noodles? Um, like pad thai noodles. That's exactly what it tastes like, a pad thai noodle. That's exactly what it tasted like. So good. Well, we're back to fishing with this right close in the background. Definitely the most epic place I've ever fished in my entire life. Absolutely amazing. So there you go, my first little white fish. Otherwise known as razor gill because of this spot right here. It's like razor sharp right there. You know, every fish has something on them that is gonna ruin your day if you touch it in the wrong way. You know, they might have a spiny dorsal fin that'll get in your finger or a pectoral fin, something like that. And he's got a sharp gill plate. So you learn something new every day, you catch a new species, pretty cool. And supposedly they taste great. And you wanna know the best part? The best part about this catch and this trip, not only the people, but you guys look at that background behind us. I mean, it's like 
It just elevates catching fish to a whole new level, the scenery. You wake up at this gorgeous island, perfect weather, doesn't it? Oh yeah. It really sets the scene. It's really epic. And it's funny because we keep complimenting like the fish and like where we're at and they're like surprised. <laughs> They're all from California and they're surprised that us Floridians are excited about this, but this is so epic. You know, we don't have anything like this. I mean, look at it. An island, how far off the coast are we? 43 miles. 40 miles off the coast and this epic island with sea lions and all these different species in one place. You can't beat it. So awesome. Symphony of sea lions. <laughs> all day long and all night long. <laughs> yeah, we experience all that day, one. every day. <laughs> Ram. Uh huh. There it is. You got a mackerel. I got a mackerel. Just like yesterday, there was a bunch of birds flying around on bait, and we're throwing some jigs. All the boys have caught some mackerel, so I'm assuming I got a mackerel too. Yep. First mackerel on a surface iron rod. That's so crazy that they would eat this. It's literally as big as that. Look at that. Big. He is just as big as that jig is. Crazy. They got a voracious appetite. Don't For real. Do I keep this or no? No. Mackerel, let him go. Oh, it got color right under the shirt. Tail, tail. Yellow tail. Yellow tail. Another medium grade yellow. Beautiful fish. Nice Epic. little eight nice. to ten pound. What a way tail. to revive the uh, the energy going on. It was a little slow there for like uh, let's say like an hour, hour and a half. But uh, we got a little eight pound yellow tail here. That just eight got to revived. ten pound yellow. He's it small, but he put up a great fight. He'll make sashimi all the same. And uh, we thank him for coming aboard, for sure. Adam's turn. Nice job. Man, put the work in today. Hooked a couple of black sea bass, a couple of heartbreaks, hooked a sea lion, which is crazy. Finally got what we came out here for. Nice, probably 18 pound yellowtail. Beautiful. Round out the day here. Starting to pick back up. Got some squid chunks for Chum. Yep. Chunking, trying to get these guys a little closer to the boat. We're gonna get them to go here. Beautiful. Not quite as big as the one from yesterday, but <laughs> they'll eat the same, just like the boys say, they'll eat the same. Such a pretty fish. When they're small like this, it reminds me of a rainbow runner. Yeah, they, they do kind of look like our rainbow runner. Yeah. Oh, it's a mackerel. Run, this one's a mackerel. That's not the squid we just put down. Nice, they're coming through. That other was weird, that other line bit. And then all of a sudden we looked up and this one was tight. Ooh, oh yeah, yeah, taking some drag. Nice. Every fish has been on the squid, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, nothing's of, been of on some sort, yeah. Nothing's been on any sardine no, top and squid. Yet. Not even no mackerel or anything. So basically, we have like at least four rods in the back in the water at all times, and then two up front up here. And this front rod just What'd you went get? off. Oh! Oh my! Woo! Ripper! That's a little bit better one. Which one's the best side kind of guy? She's patient. She waits for the right one. <laughs> yeah. I look. don't think it's my choice. It's it's the lineup. <laughs> I didn't choose my position, it chose me. <laughs> Luck to the draw. Ben fetish, baby. Yeah, baby. Luck to the draw, you're killing it. So we are at Just a kidding, total bro. of four, or five, five, five yellowtails, all of different sizes. 
And I think we think this is another yellow tail. It's so different, like being in a place that you like don't know much about, you know, and you can't really call anything or, but it's so epic getting to experience a new fishery like this. And it's been an absolute blast. This one you think he's gonna be done? He says, hell no, and he makes another run for it. It's a big ass yellow, that's what it is. It's just a big yellow. It's a yellow. huge yellow. Oh. You're good. Keep the in the water. It's a huge yellow. Nice cat shot. Perfect. Woo! Nice work, Greg! What a stick, what a stick. You made up for the last one. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if you were. He never forgets. Sorry. <laughs> hey, yeah, you bled him pretty out. good with that gaff shot. Good job, Ricky. Heck nice yeah! Good gaff, look at that. Good job, sister. <laughs> Woo! Woohoo, baby! Look how chubby. Dude, that's a fat one. This one's oh fat! <laughs> look at the belly on it. Girth. Oh, oh yeah. Hold this back. one's so much easier to hold up. <laughs> Heck yeah. Beautiful. Another fish, beautiful yellowtail in the boat. Number six. Number six, baby. What an epic two days of fishing. Nice and cool. Right, you know the on this right? uh, we got another yellowtail yeah. going. Another, this is our seventh fish. If we get them to the boat. Beautiful. Yeah. Fire in the stern. Oh, you! Yes. <laughs> oh, and in the background, and another one going. One in the boat and hooked up in the back. As always, you want to take care of your fish the best that you can, so we have bled every single fish that has made it into the boat. <laughs> Good job, Adam. On the, on the float, yeah, buddy. That's so sick. Look at that. <laughs> on the float rig, look at that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, look at that. Killer. That's so rad, on the float oh, rig. Bro. We up to eight? Yep. eight. Nice. That's eight. That's two around. That's eight. Woo. Shit. Come on, yellow. Come on, yellow. Nice yellow. guys we are winding down our day we have even more fish than what you see out in the cooler still if you guys are interested in fishing with Finn fetish charters I will have all his information linked down in the description as you can see we caught so many fish we had an amazing time with a great crew so I'll meet you guys back at the play table to play some of these fish up thank you thanks for coming over. we'll see you for <laughs> bluefin tuna yeah. Hey, hey, I'm gonna oh, hold yeah. you do that. Yeah, we got That was out. the official invite right there. <laughs> Alright guys, time to fillet up this yellowtail and on the boat we gutted and took out the gills of these fish. Look at this, perfect gaff shot right in the head. I don't know which fish this was, but that is a primo gaff shot. Go from the head, around this fin, and down like this. And now I'm gonna spin it around. And my knife of choice right now is a Dexter six inch curved boning knife. So I'm gonna work down the spine from the head to the tail. Victor filleted up my big yellow tail on his video. And I am very excited to try this fish. Make a little cut at the tail here. If you guys have ever seen Yellowtail on a um, sushi restaurant menu, this is that exact fish. It's a very popular fish for sashimi and sushi. And you guys have seen us catch Yellowtail snapper a bunch. And so if you see yellowtail snapper, that's obviously a different fish than this yellowtail. And eventually you're gonna get to their backbone. They got a big backbone. Very similar 
to an amberjack like I had said when we caught the fish. And you want to make sure once you get on the opposite side of the backbone that you angle your knife downwards so that you don't miss a bunch of fish. Definitely not a fish where you're just gonna whack off the sides because you're gonna miss a ton of meat. Break through those pin bones over the rib cage. And obviously this is my first time playing a yellowtail because it's my first time ever catching one, so I'm just taking my time. Not in any rush. You're doing a great job. So there is your big old slab of meat. Knocked it off on the one side. I usually like to take go from the top down and not work from both sides. That's kind of just my preference with fish. I don't know if it's the best thing for a fish this big, but that's what I like doing. Hey, Again. Hey, let's ask the local. She did a good job, didn't she? I think she did a great job, especially for a first go. Look at that. It looks beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> so to be able to skin it easily, I'm actually going to break this down into two loins. So you got your top loin, bottom loin, and then you have your um, bloodline that goes down the center of the fish, as well as your pin bones are in here. So what I'm going to do to make it easy is I'm actually going to cut on both sides of the bloodline, just like that. So there's your top loin. And then same thing, chop off it on this side. And this is the piece that you obviously don't want to eat. You got bloodline in there, you got bones in there. And we're also taking this fish home, like we said, so we're gonna trim it up as best as possible so we have the best quality meat. Anytime we're, we're gonna freeze it, we're gonna vacuum seal it, freeze it, and bring it home. Anytime you're freezing any fish, you want to take out that bloodline. A lot of times people say they don't like fish because you have that fishy taste, and that's probably because you didn't take good enough care of your fish, and you left bloodline in there, you freeze it, and that fishy taste kind of just like disperses into the rest of the meat. So if you're freezing fish, cut out that bloodline. Take the extra time. You know, you could obviously use this for bait or something, whatever you want to do. But if you're going to catch the fish, Take good care of it so you have the best quality and the best taste. Now, also to skin it, I could knock it off in one go, but to make it easy, I'm gonna cut this in half. And now I'm gonna switch knives, eight inch um, flexible fillet knife. Again, a Dexter knife, and you guys can save 20% on any Dexter products with my code BROOK20. I'll have that linked in the description to both of the knives that I used. Put the fillet on the edge of the table. I'm gonna attempt to leave a little tiny bit of the meat there, like I said, to keep some of that bloodline out of the meat so we freeze it. You'll see what I mean once I do this. Is it wasting a little bit? Uh, yeah. If I was gonna eat this right now, I wouldn't do it. But since I'm freezing it and bringing it home, I want perfect meat, so I'm gonna waste a little bit of that. You see that? I don't wanna be eating that bloodline. Even go through the trouble of cutting off this little tiny bit. Shave off any of that, just like you would a tuna. If you had a tuna and you had red bloodline of the tuna, you'd do the same thing. So there is your beautiful yellowtail filet. A very high quality fish, I'm excited to try it. We're bringing it home to Florida, yellowtail all the way to Florida. We're gonna freeze it, pack it up in a cooler, put the cooler on the plane with us. So I will see you guys back in Pompano Beach to eat this up. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. We are back in Florida. We've actually been home now for a couple of weeks, but I have been so busy with my lobster net business that I have not had a chance to cook my fish yet or even edit this video. So I'm finally getting it up for you guys. And if you haven't watched Victor's videos already, he made five videos from this trip. So if there's any fish that you didn't see us catch in this video, they'll all be in his video. I also think I might make a second video out of this one, but I haven't decided yet. So Victor has cooked basically all of the fish for my family. So they've gotten to try all of these California species. So tonight I'm actually going to cook for some of my girlfriends and Victor is up north in Sebastian. So I got my friend Emily behind the camera right now filming for me. Um, I prepped some stuff before she got here so I did a little filming on my own, but we are cooking yellowtail tonight. So I have portioned up some yellowtail in this bag and put it in some teriyaki sauce for as a marinade and this has been in the fridge for a couple hours now. And it's a new teriyaki marinade that I've never tried before, so I'm really hoping it's gonna be good. I tried it on, on its own and I liked it, so should be good. And 
then over here is two of the top loin pieces of a yellowtail. And we're going to be searing this with sesame seeds. And then as a side dish, I'm gonna make something that I've made before, is a orzo pasta, like caprese, caprese style, however you say that. So let's get to cooking. So we're gonna make like a little dressing vinaigrette to go on top of our seared tuna. So in the bowl, we got some ginger. Then we're going to do some soy sauce. Some sesame oil. Some honey. If this will ever come out of here. Next, lime juice. Okay, so I strained my orzo pasta, and now I'm going to add some branch and vine garlic olive oil. Only a little bit left, this stuff is amazing. I've done this recipe before. It's one of those simple things and it's gonna be served cold. Oh, that's it for the garlic olive oil. <laughs> so that ended up being the perfect amount of olive oil, and now this is going in the fridge. All right, so I just cut these down a little bit. I think this is gonna be easier to cut and to eat in the smaller pieces. So I'm gonna coat these in some sesame seeds. Okay, so in this pan that we have on medium high heat, I just added some sesame oil, and now this is avocado oil. So like half and half sesame oil to avocado oil. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna cook them only for a very short period of time on all four sides since we kind of just have like a cube here going. So our pan is nice and hot. Make sure you turn your vent on so you don't smoke up your whole house. And then put these babies in. Time to flip. Don't, some people like it seared a little more than unseared. Like some people find that pink center a little intimidating, AKA like my dad. So the one thing about cooking it a little longer though is when you go to cut it, it's gonna be a lot harder to cut if you cook it longer than it would if it was just barely cut. So I only cooked it on those sides for like 30 seconds. I'm actually gonna put these in the fridge so that I'm gonna serve them cold. Here is our orzo pasta that we cooked earlier today and then put in the fridge with the garlic olive oil. So we're gonna hit it with some salt, as well as some pepper. Now we're going to add in some Greek tomatoes that have been quartered. Some mozzarella pearls, put those in there. And then lastly, some basil that I just kind of chopped. Oh, one last thing. And we're also going to squeeze in some fresh lemon juice. Just make sure you don't get any seeds in there. There goes a the seed. Now to stir. Bring it around town. Woo! Film that as quickly as please stop. Check out those nuts in the background. <laughs> so, while I'm trying to film this, I got my friends in the background dancing, trying to distract me. Rude. <laughs> now it's time for our teriyaki yellowtail. So this is gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees and just before it's finished, I'm gonna throw the oven on broil.
with some red chili that I had macerating in some red wine vinegar so that it would lose some of that hotness. And then we got some pea shoots on there and now we're gonna pour on some of our marinade that we made earlier today. Good food, good fish, and good wine. <laughs> Did I say good friends? I meant to say good friends. <laughs> good friends too. Round two. Let's dig in. All right, ladies, what did you think? Well, for my first time having California Yellowtail, it was delicious, but the glaze had to be my favorite part. Nice. The glaze too, definitely. I'd say it was teriyaki glaze, right? Yes. Okay, so good. With the yellow tail. I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> sure, just kiss. I think everything was good. The glaze, the yellow tail, the side, and I liked that you did the seared tuna. Seared tuna. Um, it's very seared tuna. What? You said it was the yellow tail. The yellow tail. It's, you only can ate I, yellow tail. One. Can I yellow tail? Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> I liked that you did the seared tuna and you made the peppers not so spicy for this one over here. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. I can't handle my spice, but I do think, although everyone touched on the glaze, I think the seared was my favorite. I love a good seared fish and it was a good little, nice little twist on something that we're not so used to eating here in Florida. Mm. Oh, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. yes. Wow, that was really loud. That was a good one. All right, guys. Well, absolutely delicious meal. Yellowtail is just as great as everyone hyped it up to be. Did not disappoint. I'm glad that my friends got to come here for a great dinner. I want to give another big thank you to Brian and Ari for taking us out. They absolutely worked their butts off to put us on the fish. And if you guys are interested in a charter in California, make sure you check them out. I will have all their information linked down in the description. Fin Fetish Charters. They killed it. We got on so many different species, so many different kinds of fish. So seriously, check them out. Link in description. Also shout out to Adam and Dylan for helping vacuum seal all this fish. And this dinner wouldn't be possible without them because we went to their house, we cleaned the fish there, we vacuum sealed it there so that we could bring it home on the plane with us. And that really, really helps when you vacuum seal your fish to help preserve so you have the best quality fish possible. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Do you want to go again? Yeah, please. <laughs> As always, Brooke never disappoints. I gotta say the two. <laughs> We're checking my hands. <laughs> As always, Brooke never disappoints. I gotta say the two. <laughs> you why are you laughing? So I know. There's a group right there. These are gonna be my bloopers. No. <laughs> Instead of like a news forecast, like <laughs> As always, it'll rain in South Florida today. <laughs> As always. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Look, four more time. I'm ready. Never disappoints. I gotta say the teriyaki glaze mixed with the yellowtail. Really delicious. You've done an amazing job. Thanks, Brooke. Thank you. <laughs>